Do you wish you could host multiple websites from a single server? In this video, we will learn how to support multiple domains from a single Nginx server. The implementation is simple. Using a single Nginx conf file, we can create a server that responds differently depending on the domain that HTTP requests come from. To get started, first thing I'm going to do is create a Docker Compose YAML file. And this file is going to be super simple. It's only a couple of things in here. Uh, first thing is specifying the version. Uh, let's just do version 3. And then we need to specify one container. And this is going to be our Nginx container. Uh, for the image, I'm going to use Nginx 1.25.3. Uh, for volumes, we just need to mount one thing, which is our Nginx conf file. We're going to create that next. We're going to mount that into the container at etc nginx forward slash nginx.conf like so. And then finally the ports. Uh, we're just going to expose one port which is 80 and we'll map that to our host's port of 80. Now let's define our nginx.conf file. So I'll we'll just define it here like so. And in here we need two empty blocks. So the first one is HTTP like that. And then the next one we need is events. And we won't touch events but the only thing we need is to fill out stuff inside of this HTTP block. So we're going to make three different websites per se that we can access internally. Uh, so the first website is going to be our default website. So on uh, port 80, we'll just uh, listen for any traffic coming in and we'll return a single image. So this block looks like this. Uh, you have a server block. We say listen 80. Uh, this one, because it's default, it's the default server. We have to specify that as such. We also have to give a server name. This will come in handy for the later websites that we define. Uh, because it's the default one, we don't really have to give it a name, so underscore is fine. Um, for the location, when anybody accesses the slash path, so for example, if you go to localhost, you know, just slash, we're going to return a single image. So the image I'm going to return, uh, you'll see it in a minute, is like so. The next website we're going to define, we just use another server block like so, except we're going to change things around a little bit. So this is no longer the default server. However, it still listens on port 80. The server name will hard code it to a URL or domain name, if you will, that we can only access locally. So for example, if I go to git.hello in the browser, it'll take me to the server. The image we're going to put here, uh, I just put a different image. You can put whatever you want. Obviously, you don't have to copy this line by line. I'm just doing proxy pass and then some random URL as an example. So the comment here is an exact match for git.hello. So if you go to http colon slash slash git.hello. Finally, we'll define one more website to listen on another domain. And this time the server will be a wildcard. So anything that ends in dot local or anything that starts with test, so test dot whatever. So what I mean by this is this server will return some image for anything ending in dot local or beginning with test dot, so like test.com, test.org. Um, and the image that I want to use in this case, I'll update it right here for line eight. So now your nginx conf file should look something like this. In order to reach these websites locally under their domains, we need to modify a file uh, if you're on Mac or Linux, you just modify the etc hosts file. So just go in the terminal. I'm going to open it in Vim. You can use whatever text editor you like. Make sure you're running it with sudo. So sudo vim etc hosts like so. And we're going to add new entries for the IP address 127.0.0.1. So I'm just going to copy that entry. I'll put it back, obviously. I don't want to mess with it. Um, and then we're going to paste it a couple times. So what domains do we want to define here the first one will be something for line three here something ending in dot local so for example we can just do learning dot local as that entry so this by entering this in your browser under the hood your browser will go to 127.0.0.1 the next website i'll define is for this case i'll do test.tutorial and then finally i'll scroll down a little bit we'll define the website so we can reach this server which is just git.hello, like so. And just to prove that we can still reach the server, even though it's not one of these three possible domains, I'm going to define one more, like 
so so this one won't resolve to any of the first two it'll resolve to the third one the default server right because it's not going to match these two and by do uh by not matching i'll just do i'll just call it something dot else like so and then your etsy host file should look something like this i wouldn't mess with anything else in this file just add these four entries like so so now i'll save and quit with colon wq you can make sure that the changes are there by just doing cat etsy hosts like so you can see it's there we're all good um, next let's go access these websites in the browser so what were the websites that we made i'll just define them up here and their versions in the browser are like so so let's just this is just for my own sake making it simpler so http colon slash slash learning.local should return uh, server one same thing for test.tutorial it returns server one uh, git.hello should return server two and then something.l should return uh, server three which is this default server and then we can also test it out with localhost like so and let's verify the browser behaves as such so first let's open up learning.local in the browser paste it and this is the image that we get from the first server and if you don't believe me i'll open this right now in a new tab as you can see this is the you know dot twitter img.com you get that learning.local returns this uh, i'll go ahead and grab the next one i don't know why it's spinning Maybe if i reload again yeah it's fine test.tutorial also returns the same image as learning.local how about git.hello let's check this one returns a different image as you can see it's technically the same server nginx is smart enough to differentiate the two domains or the three domains that we asked it and then now let's ask for something dot else we should get it the default image which is just this that makes sense also if we go to localhost let's check in a new tab localhost we also get the default image and this also works for uh another case here which is the I, the hard-coded ip address 127.0.0.1 that should also return server 3 let's go ahead and check there you go and there you have it handling multiple domains with a single nginx server